Hey guys, what's up? Charles Damiano back from the Bruce Lee Collection, and I'm here again with my good buddy Hector Martinez. What the? Here at my crib today. We're really excited. We're like kids in a candy store. And today, and we're gonna open up a piece which I haven't taken out for anyone. Hector has oh, been yeah. asking me for this piece. Oh yeah. How many years now? About 30? 30 years. <laughs> Charlie, can I buy the piece from you, please? I want this, I want this. Please sell me the piece. <laughs> Today we're gonna show you what that piece is. It we're is gonna open piece. up this crate and we're gonna reveal it for the first time for in you. years for you guys. It's got a lot so, of dust in here. I'm gonna have you open it up because you inspired me to pull this out of my attic. It was upstairs. Bring it down to the basement. How heavy is this? About what? bro, this is like you know, it's like a, like 80 pounds. 80, there's like two of them. They're like. Oh, hold on a second. You you want me to open it because I inspired you? Yes. Or you want me to open it because you can't open it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's too heavy. So let, let's we're gonna open it. Let's no open matter it. what. Okay, let's show them what we have here today. You ready? It's gonna Charlie? be fun. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, so we man. took the nails out already. These are two giant crates. Wow. So that was uh, easy. Let me hold that and then you can pull that out because that's like 50 pounds in itself. Yeah this is the, now this 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 is the real deal. This is it. This is the real deal. Here we go. Right? Let's pull it out and I wish we'll, me luck man. We'll lay it on the top of this thing. Yeah. Lift that. Ah. Let's see. Be yeah. careful man it's heavy. Uh, okay hold on. Got it. Okay let's see if we can lay that on here. Bam! Bam. It weighs like a hundred pounds. Dude. Okay that's part of it. It's a little rusty. It's been in storage for many, many years. Give a little backstory on it. So, actually, let me put it like this. Yeah. So they can see. So, do you, any of you guys know what this is at this point? <laughs> should we, should we let them know what it is before well, we open it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, tease them, tease them, tease them a little, them a little bit. bit. Yeah. So see if they know what it is. I, I saw this item on eBay over 20, 25 years ago. Oh, that's where you, that's where you found yeah. it. Yeah. And the guy had it listed on there, you know, for a couple hundred dollars. And uh, eBay, I went back the next day to put a bid on it, and eBay had him take it down. Oh. So fortunately, I knew who the guy was selling it, and I had his email address, so I emailed him. I go, bro, how come the item is down on eBay? And he goes, he goes, they didn't allow me to put it on eBay because it's uh, illegal. You're not supposed to sell... This, this piece, this item on eBay. Wow! Because it's an original item from you know 1974. 74. And I go, really? I go, are you still looking to sell it? He goes, yeah, man. I used to, you know, I had my own movie theater in my house, and me and my wife just moved, and I'm looking to get rid of some of my 35 millimeter films. Woo! Baby! <laughs> and I said, really? And he goes, yeah, I, I don't have the room for it anymore. Do you want it? I go, absolutely. Wow. So this guy's is a 35 millimeter mm. original print of what movie? <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Dragon. No other than Return of the Dragon. 35 millimeter print. Now you always hear collectors saying, hey man, I have the Super 8. I have the 16 millimeter. The Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. But who has the 35 millimeter? Charles Damiano does. Come on now. <laughs> so this is awesome. So before we open it, let, let's just kind of talk what the experience was like seeing this baby in, in the movie in theater. The movie theater. Uh, so where did you see it when it came out? You know, I actually saw this movie in, um, at, it, it was a Puerto Rican theater, not a Puerto Rican theater. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. It was a Spanish theater. It was called the um, New Delancey. Oh! And New Delancey was on Delancey Street yes. in the uh, Lower East Side. Yes, familiar with it. It was actually closer to Chinatown okay. than the um, Lois Delancey where you saw End of the Dragon. Yes, yes. So. I saw it at the New Delancey in 1974. Wow, okay. I, oh, yeah. I, I saw mine in the Jefferson Theater on 14th Street oh, with that's my a, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Third in 1974 also 74. when it first came out. So of you course. were sitting in the New Delancey. New Delancey? I was in the Jefferson Theater. Yeah. And it came on and this was it. 35 <laughs> millimeter. That's what they showed it back then. What did you see it with? Do you remember? 
I, I, I don't think it had a second uh, showing with it. I think it was alone. It was only so, one movie? Yeah, one movie. So I was able to sit through it twice. Who would you see it with? I saw it with uh, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. I love that movie. Yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah, I had to see it three I times. Know, I you had know. to see uh, Return of the Dragon again. again. So uh, the great thing about going to the movies back in the early 70s is that it was like an experience, right? Like no other. So yeah, yeah, yeah. running to the movie theaters, what I used to look at first was the... Uh, the big giant one sheets, right? That were in front of the movie theater. The theatrical posters. The theatrical posters. Yeah. So I'm gonna just bring that out. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let me give, uh, give these guys the full experience here. here. We'll show them some of the items that were featured in front of the movie theater uh, prior to us seeing the film. That's awesome. And this is what really, here, why don't you just hold that other side. This I, is what really psyched us up. I love it, man, I love it. Right, so this is the original movie poster of Return of the Dragon, that's wow. 1974. Yeah. Who's to say up there? Boy, can we use him now. Bruce Lee is back in the fantastic all new adventures of the superhero from Enter, Enter the, the Dragon. Dragon. Bruce Lee in Return, Return of, the, of the, Dragon. the Dragon. Whoa! Oh yeah. Is your name Tang Lunga? Tang Lunga. <laughs> Why you are Tang Lunga? So this was one of the items that as a kid you used to just look this up and down in front of the movie theater waiting to see the film, right? Dynamite. And then some of the other items were beautiful also. So let's pull some of those out before we actually open up the... Uh... We're going to fold this one back? Yeah, we could fold this one back. So this is the original one sheet, wow. 27 and a half by 41 that you would see displayed in front of the movie theaters, yeah. right? 1974. 1974. And with it, oh, you used to also see some of these beautiful items. So before we get to these items, wow. this is all Return of the Dragon stuff. So mm. to promote the movies back in the heydays, right? Yeah. They used to send the movie theaters this kit, right? It had the movie poster. It had this press book, the press which, book, which told the movie theater what the movie w was all about, right? And in the press book was all the different uh, materials that they were sending the theater to market the film. To market, yeah, sure. right. So they they would give them the uh, the flyers, the one sheet. Wow. This is some of the advertising flyers that uh, they were using to promote Return of the Dragon, right? That's so they terrific. had the one sheet, they had the little half sheets, and if you open it up. They have a little synopsis of synopsis, what the film yeah. was about, mm -hmm. some more little display ads here showing Return of the Dragon. So these are all the things you see, you see in the movie theater and the newspaper yeah. right, promoting the film. So these are all the ways that you used to promote the film before it actually came out, right? Nice. Through the press book and through all the different advertisements that they, uh, they put out. But then in front of the theater, right, you used to see these little, uh, why don't you hold those? Yeah. And those are the eight by 10 uh, lobby cards uh, on Return of the Dragon, right? Uh, and there was eight to a set. Yeah. And this was the eight by 10 version. And uh, they're the same as the 11 by 14 version, which I'll pull out, because I'd like to show you some of these. That's right, I've never seen that you before. You've never seen these? No. So the, these that are beautiful. Is rare. This is like one of my favorite sets. So wow. rather than going through it twice on the 8x10, I'm just going to open up the uh, 11 by 14s because uh -huh. I wanted to show you how beautiful these are. And again, you have to remember, these. Are, this is what we saw in front of the movie theater, right, as we watched it. That so, is terrific. Wow. So this was the first one that they would have in front of the movie theater, and that's a picture of Bruce. Mm. Now that wasn't in the movie, right? I think this is more of a publicity shot. Yeah, probably during the rehearsal. During the rehearsal, because he wasn't really ever in the shot without his yeah. gi on, right? He had right. the, uh, yeah. the bluish, grayish gi, right. right? Kung Fu uniform. Unless they decided to do two shots, one without the, the top and one with it. it could, and they went with the top. The top. Right. Because or they would just, you know, practice. You're it. right, because that, that shot is, he did have the top on in the shot as well. Right. Yeah. Because if you notice the way the camera angles are, they're exactly the way they were when he had the top yes, on. Yes, yes. So they probably decided to go, you know, one or the other. Yeah. So yeah. this is one of the lobby cards. You remember, there's eight to a set. So that's lobby card number one. Yep. Number two, here you have uh, Bruce 
Uh, in Return of the Dragon with the uh, staff. With the Remember staff, yeah. Oh, I okay. love it. When he goes into the alley and he starts uh, utilizing the staff for the first whoa, time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Right, so that, that was a great scene. <laughs> And then you, yeah, you picked that one up. I'll, I'll leave this over you here. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I want to order some Chinese spirit. Chinese spirit. Mm -hmm. Show me some. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me punch him in the ribs. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. So that's when he comes into the office of the big boss. Lee, unmarshaled. Ha! The mob boss. These are so good. I mean, 11 by 14. I've never seen 11 by 14 uh, Return of the Dragon. Yeah, ones. yeah. So hold this one up. This is one of my favorites. Right, yeah. Hey, give me that one. I'll put that one over here, too. So hold that next one up. This is number four. And again, remember, guys, but with, besides the big one sheet, these lobby cards were in front of the movie theater uh, that we used to see as kids back in 1974. And that one, when I saw that with Chuck Norris, man. Chuck Norris. Look how clear that is. Kuda Colt. Kuda Colt. That was his name in the movie. Man, he, he did a good part on that, though. He was he was great for the part. Oh, yeah. When you saw Chuck come out knowing he was an American karate champion fighting yeah. Bruce, he was like... Man, seeing those two at battle was just you know, crazy. It's gonna, it was going to be a historical fight. Yeah, yeah. So you know, originally Bruce Lee's choice was uh, uh, Joe, Joe Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, right. And uh, something happened that that didn't work out. So they had Chuck Norris, and uh, he yeah. became a star. You're right. After, yeah. After that, after that, poor Joe, right? Because Joe, Joe would have been a big star if he yeah. had that fallout with if, Bruce. If it wasn't, yeah. And, and Chuck, as stiff as he was and robotic as he was. <laughs> He became the big movie star, and, <laughs> he did. and not Joe. Good guys wear black. Yes. <laughs> That's another nice one. Another alley scene, right? This is awesome, man. Look at that. Bruce Lee in Return of the Dragon. <laughs> this is the guy that says, uh, I want to order Chinese Chinese stairs. Stairs. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. And then this is uh, lobby card number six. And this is when he uh, takes out the double noon chuck for the first oh, yeah. time. <laughs> Because that's when he introduced the new trucks for the first time. The yeah. two of them, right? Yeah. It was in Return of the Dragon. Man, opening up that can brought out a smile. I know, it's heavy. 80 pounds. Man. And then this other lobby card, number seven. So guys, let me know if you have this lobby card set. They came in two. 8x10 and 11 by 14 and this is what you saw displayed in the movie theaters. Love to hear if you have these lobby cards in your collection. These are vintage, they're a must have for any serious collector. So uh, make sure you, you, you pick these up. I may have an extra set or two. If you guys want to talk to me about picking up a set, mm -hmm. you can contact me. You know where to reach me at cdbrlee -E at aol.com. But these lobby cards are just, they were my favorite as a kid. Ah, what rippling muscles. What rippling muscles. But me touches abs. <laughs> we don't want you to get hurt. hurt now and then the last one these are tickets to Hong Kong <laughs> the last lobby card in this set oh, was, uh, yeah it's great man wow brutalizing Bob Wall there <laughs> against the dragon even the best are better off dead. <laughs> That's an awesome shot. Yeah, that was a great scene, that fight scene with Bob Wall prior to the chuck. That was just a warm-up for him, though. It's amazing the way Bruce Lee contorted his body. He just didn't kick. I mean, he put everything, everything into it. Everything into it. You know, I, I mean, from top to bottom, everything was involved. Now, besides Bob Wall, what was the uh, the other actor's name that he fought prior to Chuck Norris? Wang Ying-sik. Wang Ying-sik. Yep. And he was a Hapkido guy, right? Hapkido, yeah. yeah. That was Hapkido. Yep. 
So Bruce uh, fought those two first. I always say that was a little warm up to the Chuck fight. To the Chuck, right. And then came the big Oh, the big battle. Chuck. The battle, battle of the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the gladiators. The gladiators. The, uh, Charlie, you, uh, uh, is that the way you, of the dragon? You, you did speak about Return of the Dragon. Uh, well, you want me to yeah, introduce it? Right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, you uh, Charlie showed you the uh, Return of the Dragon 8x10s. Which are these? This is the eight-card uh, set. And then he also has the ones from Cathay Films. This is uh, Way of the Dragon. Yep. So, so although they're the same cards in there, yeah. they're just one's Way of the Dragon with right. the title Way of the Dragon, right? Yeah, uh, and that came out what year? So, uh, well, well, actually, the uh, these are 72. Two, right. 72, The Way of the Dragon, was, and uh, 74, Return of the Dragon. Because he made that in Hong Kong first, right? Before Correct. Before they released it in the United States. But Charlie, they, they are the same, but there is a substantial difference. The Way of the Dragon cards are actually sharper. Oh, yeah, look at that. The yeah. color is better and it, it's a little sharper. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, you, I'll, I'll put some close-ups on there also for mm -hmm. the fans to see what those look. You're right about that. Yeah, that the way of the dragon. They, yeah, that out. I mean, both are beautiful. Yeah, but I'm saying the way of the dragon yeah, is sharper. Look at that. Wow. So, uh, there you go. Yeah. Brother. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have these two great sets. Ooh. So uh, you know, Broke let's up sweat. let's bring this uh, let's bring this baby back up here. Right on. And we'll we'll open this up together, guys. I haven't opened this up probably in uh, 20, 25 years since I first purchased it. And it <laughs> actually contains the 35 millimeter complete film of Return of the Dragon in four different reels. Reels. Now remember in the theater they would change the reel right after every uh see remember you used to see the little thing. They, had they, to, they would have two projectors. Yeah. So the one would flow into the other. Right into the other, yeah. Sometimes, you know what's funny? They would the, miss it. Right, right. In the movie theater, and the, everyone, the, the projectionist would probably fall asleep. You fall asleep. And, and you're like, hey, where's hey, part two? And everyone starts screaming, where's the film? And all of a sudden, it used to come on again. <laughs> Those are the That's days, funny, man. man. Let's open this up. So, uh, Let's see if we can get this open. We got this here. Let's see. Careful with your hands. Yeah, I think that's gonna open up. There we go. There we Whoa. Go. Wow. Holy mackerel. Look at that, man. Woo! You you've got dust here that's from 1974. That's ah, hot you. Let's smell it. It smells <laughs> like the movie theaters wow. from back in the day. It smells like popcorn. Remember that? Man. It's got dust. So hey, let's pull out one of these. Go ahead, brother. Those Woo. are yours, man. Look at Look that. that. Wow. Man. So this is, uh, that says reel four, reel three. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. So the one in the bottom, the case in the bottom has uh, one and two. Yeah, one and two. Yep. So five reels. Two, three, four. Oh, man. That, that is, is amazing. Yeah. Pull, pull, pull another one out. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That is huge. What does it say on the reel? Can you read that? Uh, yeah. It, uh... What does it say? Do not. It actually says Warner Brothers Distribution Corporation. Do not rewind after showing. Standard print makeup. Wow. Um. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, let's let's see if we can uh, see some of the the film strips in here. This is real five. So yeah. three, four, five, and then one and two. One and two are in the here. bottom. Yeah. 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 So here, let's. You want to show some uh, frames? Let me see if you can, uh, let's yeah. see if we can uh, pull one of this, open this one up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, they think this, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, let's see. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we could see some of the, uh, there you are, brother. Let's see if we can Ooh. see some of this. I remember as a kid, you wanted to see, oh, look at this, man. Oh, I should, let's, uh -huh. let's see if we could see some of the, uh, Do this a lot, man. Let's see. <laughs> you see any uh, Bruce frames yet? Let's see. I'm looking for some Tong Lung here. Not yet. This is all the. Uh, there goes Tong Lung. Yeah. Let's see. Let me, let me hold on to it over here, Charlie. Okay. I'll. I'll, I'll yeah. Okay. I, I got it. So we're gonna. Yeah. There. You just take that. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, this is Bruce doing the uh, warming up in the Coliseum. Warming up in the Coliseum. Opening up his uh, lat spreads. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
So I remember somebody told me that there's the cat. Yep. That oh, if, you, if you actually <laughs> cut these cells, you can make photos. Photos from it. Yeah. Every one of these cells. Yeah. So, so some people, you know, Ooh. because you can get this on Blu-ray now. Yeah. You know, would have probably it, decided and destroyed just, the film. Right. But right. I, I never wanted to do that because I never wanted to destroy the film. I just wanted to know from, you know, just. Yeah. Vintage reasons just to know I have the original 74. Correct. You just want to keep it complete. Yeah, exactly. I wanted yep. to keep it complete. Absolutely. So. Hector, man, I haven't opened this up since uh, <laughs> since I purchased it over 25 years ago. I don't know how you now, do it. Now, what would you do with it? If we ever did a deal and I sold this to you, what would you do with it? I would sleep with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, you know, the thing is that I enjoy looking at the... The reels. I got you. The cans. Just looking at it. I, I mean, hear you. I, I can't play it. Yeah, But yeah, uh, yeah. it's just, you know, just, I think I probably hang it on the wall. You know, you can do that here. Yeah. You can put some hooks up and, uh, you know. So what do you guys have in your collection? Do you have the 16 millimeter version of Return of the Dragon? Do you guys have the 8 millimeter, the Super 8 millimeter? Or do you have the 35 millimeter original Return of the Dragon? Uh film that came out in 1974 man let's uh let's put this baby back in there because uh otherwise awesome man wow charlie you gotta find a theater that would allow you to screen old 35 millimeter films maybe we can do a little bruce let's Lee, do a little uh, research event. so guys yeah. the question for you is if hector and i find a movie theater and we can screen Return of the Dragon once again on the big screen. Will you come visit and see it with us so we all can sit in the theater together as Bruce Lee collects some fans <laughs> eating popcorn ah! together, baby? Watch your fingers. This thing is heavy now. Here we go, brother. Look how you're sweating, man. Thank you I'm for the help. Sweat bullets, Watch man. Your fingers. Watch your fingers. I think hold on to the sides here on the corners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Careful. Careful there, John. Yeah, I think we need to get the uh, the handles on the oh, side. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Watch your finger. No, like this, like this. Is it? No, because see this thing oh. here. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Woo! We did it. Damn. On the Charles Damiano show. Woo! Look at that. What a sweat. I woke up a sweat. Is that heavy or what? Oh man. Listen, let's not do this again, all right? No, that was too let's much. Let's stick to the DVDs. Yes. <laughs> Blu-ray a lot easier Blu than original <laughs> films, guys. Well, anyway, I'm glad that we were able to take this out. You've been asking me for a long time to yeah, display this I wanted, yeah, I wanted 35 to see millimeter film. Yeah, but yeah. I'm glad we were able to open it up again. It was, that was fun, a lot man. of fun. Hope you guys liked the movie poster, the lobby cards, a little trip down memory lane on Return of the Dragon. Let Hector and I, I know where you guys saw Return of the Dragon. What year was it? What movie theater did you see it in? And we're glad you guys joined us here today. And until next time, Charles Damiano with Hector Martinez saying thank you for joining us from the Bruce Lee Collection. And we'll see you guys next Friday. Peace. Thanks for visiting, guys. <laughs> wow, that was amazing, man. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Woo! What a workout. I need some water now, John. Well, you know, everyone talks to me about Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee and I were very good friends and we trained together for like three years before he left for Hong Kong to pursue his movie career. And uh, I didn't hear anything from Bruce for like two years. Then out of the blue, Bruce calls me. He says, I've done two movies in Hong Kong and they're really successful. I want to do a movie now with a fight scene that everyone will remember. And I want to do the fight scene in the Colosseum in Rome, and I want you to be my opponent. At that time, I held the world title. And kiddingly, I say to Bruce, I said, well, who wins, Bruce? And he said, I win. I'm the star of this movie. And I said, oh, I see. You want to beat the world champion. He said, no, I don't. I want to kill the world champion.